Hi, this is Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands. Welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we are live at the moment. Um, so please put your chat in the comment and we'll answer any questions as best we can. Um, with me today I have Peter, my editor-in-chief, and just coming from behind the curtain, <laughs> perfect Hello. timing, is my fiance Hello, Paul, nice who's, our, who's our guest stirrer <laughs> for the day. Um, and that's not in the bad sense. You'll find out in a minute as to what, what we're going to be doing. I can do a good job. I'll stir guest. I'll stir guest, yeah. Hopefully I can do a good stir job. <laughs> yes. A sterling job. A good sterling job. <laughs> so. Right. Hand casting kit. What are we going to do with that, you ask yourselves? Especially as I couldn't see what it was to sell. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ooh, mm, there's it's a label. Oh, that's not an important thing. No, that's just a barcode. Yeah, it's a barcode. <laughs> so, inside this wonderful box, we have a bucket. No, we're not going to the seaside. Well, not yet, anyway. Not this episode. Not this episode. Um, we have... I think this is a plinth for mounting, whatever we're going to be doing. We have a lid. We have a couple of bags of powder. An agate powder. No. Al alginate, sorry. An alginate, not an agate. No. And some moulding powder. But we won't need that just yet, so we'll put that to one side. And also, we've got a couple of stirring sticks. That's Paul's tools. Put them there for you. We have some sandpaper and a sticky pad for the mounting strip. We don't need those at the moment either. But what we do need is our bucket. And we also need yeah, some hand cream. Well, no, there's not a hole in my bucket. You're all right. There's no hole in the bucket. We're okay. Yes, there is. Dear ladies. Well, there is, but... <laughs> Top. Not at the bottom. <laughs> you can't get staff, can you? No. Okay, so the alginate powder has got to go in the bucket along with... Oh, I wrote myself a note and I've just dropped it on the floor. That's clever. Excuse me, I'm just disappearing under the desk. Right, I'm back. Um, one five eight o mil of water. I'm not really rolling my eyes. Okay. We have some octogenarians that are having trouble locating the YouTube. Um, our technical guy's on it. Right, so try and get all the powder to the bottom. Are we actually... We are. Okay. Oh, it's got a tear. It's got a tear line. So we don't need scissors. No, but I don't... I'm not going to tear... I don't think I'd better tear all the way across. Because it's kind Tear down knotted line. Oh, oh, it's going all wonky now. <laughs> Maybe we should have used the scissors. Come on, you can cut. Oh, over the top. That's it. Right, okay. Get rid of that. Now then, we're ready. Oh, mixture in the bucket. You're right, it, did look, it does look a bit like that um, instant whip stuff. Now, before we get the stuff ready because it has to be very quick and those coming in late will wonder why we've got our hands stuck in a bucket but there's a reason behind that so we need to put on some hand cream and make sure we don't have any um, rings on because this stuff will stick to our hands and we need to make sure we can get our hands out again get some up, up your wrists as well yeah I'm not quite sure which one hand I'm going again <laughs> uh, okay. We've rehearsed this about eight times, but I can't remember what we were doing. 
Right, so we want to put our hands, if we do it upright to start with, my right hand, Peter's left hand, and we want to put our fingers together like that. And try and, yeah, so can you arch your hands a bit more? How's that? Yeah. Yeah? And we've got to stay like well, that, well, with our hands the pointed hair. down for 20 minutes. Oh, hello, little. Are you doing your premiere? Can you, could, could you extract a little? Come on. <laughs> you go. I would, but I've got hand cream all over the place. I don't want cat hair all over my hands. Yes, that would be... Uh, well, so, we have to put our hands down like this and still get the right position. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> for 20 minutes. This is going to be fun because we're not allowed to touch the bottom of the bucket. The bucket has to be stayed upright and I might have to stand on a stalk because Peter's so tall. <laughs> no, so, we're, we're going to go and get a stall. <sighs> we're just working it through. Keep stalling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Right, I'm stalling. What do I stall them with? Right, hang on. Get your stirring sticks out. Yeah, I'll stirring sticks out. Yeah, put that bit in the bin. Right, Paul's got his stirring sticks ready. Oh, yeah, someone pops in. I think there was. Hello, if you're in the chat. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. I'm going to do some acrobatics now. I might be too tall with this now. Oh, no. No, I think that'll be all right. Excuse the hands, people. I'm just trying to move the camera up a little bit so you can see what's going on. I don't think you better see anything at the moment, but here we go. Oh, just my yeah, midriff, which is not very... Is that better? Ah, not much better, is I'm it? A head, I'm a headless ghost, but... Right. So... Right, check it a bit. Like that? Yeah, try, yeah, try, try and... You've you, you got your hand like that at the moment. So... Yeah, you're gonna... Like that. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that is that over the camera? Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, right. Technical right. issues. Hang on. Slight technical issues, guys. There we go. There. Sit it on top. That's yeah, that's better. Right. Okay. That is attached to the um, window. <laughs> Good here, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So Paul's gonna stir. I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna pour the powder. Peter's going to pour the water, which I said is 1580 millilitres of water, so it's just over one, one point, and a half, one, yeah, one one half litres, isn't it? Yeah. So. One and a half millilitres, yes. Yeah. Right, are we going to go? Uh, Three. You put your hand in first, or? No, you put your hand in once oh, right, it okay. starts going pink, apparently, according to the instructions. Right. Stir. Pour. Uh, and uh, you will notice the camera is not going to be changing positions uh, while we're doing this because, uh, because the tech yeah, guy I, I can't to... press the buttons. Yes. <laughs> well, well, Paul could press the buttons if you tell him which one to press. Uh, I can't remember which one to press. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I think we're probably on the right set anyway. Okay, so I've run out of powder. I've still got plenty of beer, so that's quite porridge at the moment. Oh, oh hang you, on. You missed a pop. Hang on. Ah, that's stuck down, Mama. Yeah, you were better just doing that. There you go. There we go. That's enough. Oh. Did you get any of it in the pot? I did. <laughs> Goodness me. It's like icing sugar, this stuff. Right, I've got some wrap around my hands. Hopefully we don't mess this up because we only get one shot here. Mm. It is what it is and it'll come out how it's meant to be. 
I hope. It does look a lot of water, doesn't it? Mm. But well, that's what they said. Doesn't do anything for ages and it goes mad. It seems to be just, yeah. just mixing. You're doing in okay. ever so well there. I'll guess stirrer. And it seems to be okay. Well done. And there's another little drop there. That's the last drop. That's the last drop. Get rid of this plastic bag. Right, when it starts going pink, we have to put our hands yeah, in. No, so, you ready? It's going pink. Yeah. Hang on, let's make sure to just get one more little stir. Are you ready? Are ready? All right, the strawberry custard. We are diving in in three. Get three. your hand curved. That's it. Like that. That's it. Two, one. Ah! Not to the bottom. It's not deep enough. Oh, well. Uh oh. That'll do. Uh, it won't do though, will it? Because it won't close up. Uh oh. It mustn't go right down. Or we can't touch the size either. Can we go down a bit deeper? We can go down a bit deeper. I'm going to try and right, push your fingers out like that. Yeah, there we go. I'm touching. I'm just not touching the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to do it. 
Ten more seconds, and then I'm. <laughs> I think it's gonna rip me hand out. Yeah, <laughs> one go. I'll, I'll hold the top. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Right. Three. Two on, then you. Two. two. Just do it slowly. One. one. Wiggle backwards and forwards. Oh my goodness! I can't get my hand out. Yeah. Oh. That's what you've got to do carefully, otherwise you'll ruin the mold. Ah. There you go, folks. Look at that. Oh, oh my hand is so sweaty. <laughs> Look at that, well done. Oh, wow. Ooh. That is fantastic. You look, I have, a, I have a tide mark. <laughs> oh, and that is, look at that. That's incredible. <laughs> and I've got a crease in my wrist. <laughs> look at I can that. see that. Oh. Crikey. Well done, both of you. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Right. right, I didn't think of um, yeah, something to wipe my hands with, did I? No. Thought of everything else. Oh yeah, I've got a got a bit of a line around, around my hand, around my wrist. Right, I don't know. I can move this camera back down there. Ooh. Right, so we're just going to have a quick reset of the camera and um, sit down. And then we've got to make the plaster of Paris up, apparently. But I need to get all this goop off my hands. I'm just hoping this does connect in one or two spots. Well, it's got to connect on our thumbs, isn't it? Thank you, Sam. Where are you from? Where are you from? We could have two separate moulds, but mm. we could glue them together. Well, well, we'll see what happens. Um, right, we're going to mix it in that bowl, in the In the jug, yeah. So we don't need this one anymore. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so that jug of water should be the right amount. We did we did double check of water to go in the plaster of Paris or whatever this stuff is. Yes. The moldy yeah. power powder. The moldy powder. Moldy powder. Moldy powder. <sighs> There 
here. Do you want to quick check the instructions and see? Stirling. Yeah, right on now. Stirling. No, now he's not in the plaster. Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, but do, how quickly do we have to do it? That's pour it in. Pour it in I think that mold's basically more or less permanent this one. We don't have to worry about that. No. Right, okay. I don't want it to powder up everywhere. We'll have to pour it in all the holes, I think, just in case. <laughs> it does look a bit weird, doesn't it? Look at it from the top view. How are you doing? I hope we've got a big enough jug. If it comes over the top, it won't matter because that'll give us a base to work with. You're stirring well, you're stirring well. Ooh. Introduce yourselves, yeah. tell us where you're viewing from. Yeah, well It'll be, be interesting. Trying, yeah, we'll happily answer any questions if we can. All right, got a little bit round the side there. Catch that. That's pink as well. I don't know if it is plaster of Paris, but it must be something similar, mustn't it? I think that's about mixed in. I think that's about. It does look nice and creamy. Well done. I'm gonna put that in there yeah. just so drip everywhere. Oh, hello! Oh, yeah. No, you can't yeah, jump in the bucket. Right. I'm ready to pour. So I'm no, gonna fill up this not. hose. One, two, three, four, go down that one, fill up that one. Oh, it's coming up the other side. Oh, hey, good. Hey, hey, hey. So it must be going to connect somewhere. It's connect along the, the line somewhere, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep pouring because we can always, you know. So this is going to take about two hours. So I hope you're all prepared to watch our pop dry for two hours. So that is what we're doing. <laughs> no, we've got some other things to talk about. Yeah, right. That yeah, needs I'll rinsing that, out before it. Um, and then we've got the base, try not to drop it in there, and the sticky pad to stick on it and some sandpaper to tidy up the bits if we need to. So we'll put that to one side, still in the corner view. Um, apologies for any delays, maybe short for you but it was a little bit um, unfortunate for us um, as we found out that the volume wasn't recording on the speakers so I'm having to do this voiceover which is a new thing for me so let's get on with it so what we did was just took the sculpture from the bucket and it was covered in a blamongi pink goopy semi-liquid jelly type substance um, and we proceeded to peel off sections of it initially first um, large sections um, and then smaller sections as we got into the inside of the um, sculpture revealing a finger at a time it was quite exciting watching 
the the whole thing emerging from this goop. Um, and we cleaned the rest of it up with a small um, foam tip brush to just get all the bits and pieces out. Um, it did take, we did leave it for a couple of days before we took the sculpture out of the bucket, which meant that the um, surrounding moulding had begun to disintegrate and that, I think that's the problem that we had with the liquid buying. Um, so in future, if you use this sort of product, it's probably best not to wait as long as we did, but filming schedule and work schedule prohibited us to do it any sooner. So we took all the, the jelly stuff from between the fingers with um, the paint brushes and things um, and revealed the sculpture. Now I have decided that the fingernails will be painted and the base will be painted turquoise because my colours for the um, Debbie's Crafty Hands are going to be in the new launch are going to be turquoise and pink so Peter's fingernails are going to be turquoise my fingernails are going to be pink the base is going to be turquoise and then the fingers I haven't quite decided whether to do them naturalistic look or whether to do them funky colours yet but we'll find out once I've decided so this is what it looks like folks our uh, sculpture needs some work but basically I'm really happy with it so this is Peter's hand can you see the likeness and this is my hand short stubby fingers you might recognize um, and joy of joys I'm on annual leave at the moment so I can wear nail polish yay and I shall be painting my fingernails as I said earlier um, on the sculpture as well so the sculpture is going to be more thoroughly cleaned and dried out and then we'll sanded come down, exactly. sanded down and neatened up um, there's a little bit between the fingers here just here that I'm going to try and um, weasel out yeah so this bit here needs to come out but um, everything else seems to be pretty good um, and once we've done that we will start the painting process so well first of all I'm going to be using some white paint um, or gesso if I can get it in time to just cover it up um, and seal it so this is just basic Pebo Pebio studio acrylics high viscosity if I can get my teeth back in um, vivid Probably white so that's going to be our base colour um, and I'm not sure which blue I'm going to use I might do a mixture of it this is yeah we can do some tests um, I quite like this one which is called I can find the name just says acrylic paint but it's a turquoisey colour or pearlescent green so pearlescent green and this one is emulsion tester Neptune so we might do a mixture of these ones and see what colour we get um, and we've got some red for the nail polish Ooh. 
and I want to make up a pinky colour with the whites and I might use a pearl white um, for the hands. So I've got a little mixer tray. We've got a wet brush mixer. Uh, wet. Yeah, we've got wet brush mixer tray as well, so we're going to have a play around with them. Also got some more colours in here, but I'm not quite sure how active they are or whether they're so uh, I need to have a play and paint see. Paint my numbers. Paint Good my numbers. Number. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the leftover bits. Yeah. I don't have a huge supply of acrylic paints because I've not really used them a lot. But I might start um, adding to my colour selection. Watch this space, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Bye-bye.